Alright. Out here shooting the PSC a little bit. Ball 31. A little bit windy out here. Got the blowing right when I trying to set her up. Got the HHA key pin on here. Uh, extend it all the way out. I like the biggest reason I shoot it all the way out. Um, the aperture may be a tiny bit smaller than the pin. You know, you might get a little eclipse, but uh, it's nothing as long as it stays consistent. It's nothing that bothers me. But uh, the farther the side out is, that pin's just a little bit smaller on the target. And uh, once you get to like 50 yards and stuff, I think it helps a lot more. Um, it's, you, you notice it as if the sight was in more. Um, I know a lot of guys argue to pull the sight back in. Um, the the when you torque the bow, it uh it doesn't affect you as bad. Um, the closer the sight is in, but I like mine out just because I like I shoot a ten thousandths pin, and I still like it out there. Um, I like how a pin looks on the target better. Shooting a 10 inch B stinger with a uh, shrewd quick disconnect. Uh, uh, a little bit over an inch, I think it's about an inch and a quarter, so it makes it, it makes this whole thing. Um, I've only got one ounce of weight on it. Um, that's just all I really need on this bow. I tinker around, I add a little bit sometimes, but seems to be where I like it. Uh, it um it's a shrewd one ounce weight also um it just uh special with the extra length this bow just don't need a lot more up front uh, it just holds really well the way it is i just i like something to help me with a little bit of my side to side pin movement and it's all i really need anything else and the pin starts wanting to drop on me um Another reason is I have these limb saver um, limb dampeners on here and as you can see I've got them up closer to the riser because I don't want them to get in the actual flex of the limb. Um, I don't know if that's real good for them plus it'll slow them down. Not much but just a little bit because um, that limb can't flex as fast with way more weight on it. but. These are sort of heavy, and I used to run a little more weight on this thing. And when I got them on there, uh, it uh, weighted the front end down a little bit, and uh, I, I didn't even still didn't need need even less weight on the front. So uh, hold really well like that for me. Um, shoot the uh, QAD HDX. I really love these rests. I've had a few, had a few minor, um, a few issues with them over the years, but overall they've treated me real good and I like them so much I don't switch um, yet so far. Uh, shoot me a few more shooting beaming. 
ICS Precision Hunters. Um, they're an 001 straightness. Uh, a good hunting weight. I get about, uh, depending on what wraps I have on here, I get anywhere from 110 to 115 grains out of them. Um, and get around 300 feet a second at 28 inches and 70 pounds, maybe a, a few pounds over that. But, um, so I get good speed. I am still good weight for hunting, plenty penetration. I like these, good arrows. Uh, I mean, you get a 001 straightness for like, even from Lancaster, I think it's like 917 a shaft. Uh, so, just a good arrow. Um, I've, I've really liked this bow. Been a good one. really see where that thing hit too well but as I said it's pretty windy out here uh, just shooting from 40 yards which I practice at all different distances I don't practice a whole lot under 30 because I don't feels if I need to but uh anyway there's a little group I just shot I can't never tell where the phone's looking but uh, it's about a two inch dot. Oh. This here's a good target I bought the other day. It's a Maxima. I don't know if you can see it down on the bottom. Move this 3D target. But it's just, uh, it's just Sportsman's Warehouse brand. And uh, the thing I like about it is I like to shoot a lot of 3D targets, but uh, I also like to shoot these bag targets because I just get tired of pulling arrows from 3D targets sometimes. And this thing's nice. Um, two finger removal, basically what you get with um, a yellow jacket. That's about how this feels. These things are probably made by Morel or McKenzie or somebody, but the thing I like is I like the uh, I like the dots on it. Some bag targets, me personally, I don't really like to shoot at the dots on them. They just got too much stuff, and I don't know. I don't care for them, but I like this one. And uh, it's also exactly the same on both sides, which I like, because sometimes you'll find bag targets, it's got nice aiming spots on one side and you go to the other side and it's just a bunch of crazy shit nah yeah. a lot of times i've wrapped them in bond coat and just made my own spots Stripe, tried spray painting them and putting spots but that don't work uh, every time you hit it, it just makes one big takes a big flake off but um anyway I don't know if you can see that or not, but $44.99, pretty good bag target. So, uh, yeah, man, just, uh, just 
do like my PSE. Um, I know you guys like to see bow reviews, but when I get one I like, um, I, it takes me a while to let it go because, uh, you know, with how much bows cost nowadays, and they can't really do, in my opinion, much more, te you know, with the technology in them. If you get one you like, you might as well stick with it for a while. But, um, anyway, hope y'all have fun shooting. I know I do most of the time, and uh, I'll holler at y'all later.